I don't wanna. Make the bad ball cat go away. <sighs> so this game kicked my ass last stream. We spent about an hour on a single level that didn't even look that hard on the onset. It was. I'm hoping and praying that it was just that level. And that maybe all the others will just breeze through in the coasts and any future worlds we may or may not reach. Hello, Darian. Uh, what do we got? We got Pong, Stack, Railings, Amphitheater. This piece of shit right here. Our uh, level's good. Shouldn't be any different from the previous... Previous paper ball. Well, that's one thing to happen. I was in exactly the wrong spot. Let's try going to... Nope, I am not going to go to the right. This game uh, updated. There's no game audio. That's good to know. Why did it get set to the wrong audio device? What are you, what are you doing, Obs? There you go. Alright, tell me how it sounds now, then. Whoop! Ready? Go! Ready? Wait, do I have to get pinned? Ready? Is there not another way across? Oh boy. Now I have to ride the Pong Ball. Alright, if it's moving platforms, that means it can't be that hard a level. Or rather, this is one of those cases where I am just subject to whenever the platform reaches me. Ready, go. Let's see how I sound. Restream. Restream, why aren't you playing? There I am. Hello, me. Ready, go. Ready? I wonder if there's a way to abuse the physics to just leap over this. Probably is. I'm gonna see what happens if I get pinched on this side. Let's find out. Let's be wacky. I just got I gotta be in just the right spot. We're gonna see if we can cheese. I guess Spelunky is more of a game of endurance. Uh, I mean, there's not, like, a story mode. The game is the game. There are... I mean, it's like it's like a, a, a classic platforming game. You get, you get to the end of the game. There are 16 normal levels. And uh, if you do certain conditions through your run... There's a secret fifth world, at least in the in the HD version. The Spelunky HD, the one on Steam that you got, is actually a remake of the original Freeware game. But it's just it's a randomly generated platformer. Have you gotten to? Uh, have you reached the jungle at all yet? You seen the Tunnel Man? Alright, that is gold, that's fine. Oh, 
Why did I hit play again? What am I doing? Ready? I wouldn't call it a game of endurance as much as I would, like, you know, the NES, the NES games. You keep, you keep trying until you are good enough to get through. Back in my day, you get a game over when you ran out of lives, and that was it! You'd have to start the whole game over! Where am I? I'm looking in all the wrong places. Hello. What is this? What are we doing? It's a sandwich. I They made a sandwich. And that was still gold somehow. Yeah, it's, it's like the usual case with roguelikes. You gotta learn what the... Learn what the items in the game do and all that. I do like that Spelunky at least has the... It has the journal that tells you what the items do. I never liked that about Isaac, is that you just you just have to memorize. You can get a thing in game and you just kinda have to figure out what just happened to your character. Ready, or more likely just look it up on the Isaac wiki. So rather than having to keep a wiki open the entire time I'm playing a game, it, it's nice that Splunky has the journal. Okay, what am, what am I doing? What, what's my plan here? I need to time this for when it's coming out. That's the plan. It's coming out. Whoa! Oh, that one's fast. Alright, but what does what does this dark and rainy night represent? Is this, maybe maybe the, the cat's dad forgot her at soccer practice. Maybe this was a traumatic life event. It looks like there's enough land to, like, stick on one of the sides, but then there's not. Arrow blocks. You mean the, the ones that shoot out darts? The arrow traps? Generally, slow and steady pays off more than rushing in Spelunky. Ready, go. Ready, go. I had a lot of fun with Spelunky 1, but uh, it was always a disappointment that it didn't have any kind of online play to it. I know there's couch co-op, but Ready, go. even if you can manage that, it was such a huge boon for Spelunky 2 to have online co-op. Mostly because with couch co-op, you're all limited to one screen. And that is a game changer for Spelunky. Ready, I don't know if you've watched, uh, I, I did highlight videos of Spelunky streams recently. There was one with me and Jack playing Spelunky 1, one with me and Nick doing Spelunky 1, and then we did Spelunky 2, both couch co-op and online co-op. And it's so incredibly nice to be able to play the game co-op with everyone has their own screen. It, it blows the doors wide open for possibility. Ready, go! 
I always, I always, I will always hold sp sprint in Spelunky. It's not really a reason to ever not hold it. Also, I just got up on the wall. If I could do that again, I could cheese my way all the way to the ending. How am I gonna do that again? We found, we found the cheese. Now we just gotta, we gotta figure out how to make it work. Ah! I, th I see where it happens. It's just hard to do consistently. Yes. Ah! It's still tight though. It it is. It's like walking on the on the rail in the Crash Bandicoot One bridge levels. That's probably the platinum technique. That's what you got to do. I. It's okay. It's not that hard. Staying on there is kind of hard though. Inspired Spelunky. I think it was called Spelunker on the NES. That's a piece of shit. 17, 18 seconds for gold? Okay. It was a game that was nothing like Spelunky other than that you were like underground Spelunking. But there was like, uh... Oh, it's right there. There was ludicrous fall damage. You couldn't fall two feet without dying in Spelunker. This camera is just the death of me. Twenty-two seconds. These okay. Now we're getting levels with just like pandering gold times. They really thought that was gonna take me twenty-two seconds. Ready? Go. You know what though? I'm not gonna complain. Complain. I'm gonna be happy that I'm getting pandered to. Ready? I would much rather that than another level like that. St stupid razor blades. It wasn't even obtuse, it was just absurdly difficult. Uh, the jungle, famously, is a good bit harder than uh, the caves in Spelunky. Then you get to World 3 and it's actually designed to be a bit of a breather. So World 3 is actually intended to be a little easier than World 2. I'm trying to one cycle it and it's just not gonna happen. Ready, go. Ready, go. As for why I'm not playing Crash 4 today, it's because I already played Crash 4 today. I've been playing it a lot. Ready? Getting all of the uh, all the gems on the levels that we've already done on stream. And I'm almost caught up. I made a lot of progress. I've had to use guides for a few levels, but Ready? Go. I figure that'll be the next stream I do after this, and I will be fully caught up. I also just bought. Uh... I brought I bought Crash Nitro Fueled on the Switch. And I don't think I'm gonna stream it, but it'll be something for me to play. 
I don't think I like Crash Team Racing enough. To, I, I like it enough that I think I'll, I'll play it twice, but I don't want to stream it twice. I'll just, I'll play it at my own pace this time. Actually, I don't think I, uh... I don't think I did 100% CTR on stream. I think I just did the basic story mode. Oh yeah, there, there are some nasty, mean-spirited hidden crates in Crash 4. Which I wouldn't mind so much if the lover levels weren't so obscenely long. I mentioned that during on the, the one stream of it we did. It's just so much worse to have to scour a level for... A, a huge level for 200 crates than it is a smaller level for, you know, 100 or less. Oh, I didn't get the gold time. Which I need the gold time to progress. Ready, go. I think I was close. Ready, I was. I, I just need to shave a little bit off of that. Also bought a new car yesterday. Well, a new used car. So that is why I didn't stream that day. Is I was out all day. Ready, go. I went to a. I looked online. I went to a small dealership in Portland. Found a 2015 Mitsubishi for five thousand. Which I was amazed to find something that recent at that price. I was also amazed to find that it didn't have Bluetooth or any USB ports. I don't know how a car made in 2015 doesn't have USB ports. But that's fine. It's otherwise it's otherwise a very a nice little car. It was good deal. And the dealer even bought my previous car, which was a salvage piece of crap, so. Nineteen twenty-eight. Wait, no, that's So what's the gold time? It was like nineteen eighteen. I was still just short. Ready, go. 1928. Is I, did I not beat that? What did I get? Oh, it's 1912 for gold. Ready, go. Ready. Do you believe as difficult as Spelunky 1 is, Spelunky 2 is much harder? Like, 1 was already a very tough game, and then 2 feels like it was made for people who are already experts at Spelunky 1. It's brutal. I still haven't gotten... I put... I don't know how many hours in it, and I still haven't gotten the... I haven't got any of the any of the special endings. Just the basic default. Uh 4-4 four, four ending. This is tight. I think I can make it in one cycle, but it is tight. Maybe I can't. Maybe I'm being optimistic. It's I think I can, but oh man, that is. When the ball hits the spiral just right. There we go. That's it. Oh boy. Where are we going? Where are we dropping, boys? I hope we're not dropping. Ready, go. Ready, go. 
I think they were in a... No, they're not in a collection on the Switch. They're available indiv individually. I was happy Splunky 1 and 2 came to the Switch, though. Nice to see a uh, potential renewed interest in the games. I think they're very hard, but very well-designed games. Generally, if you die in Spelunky, you know why, and it's your fault, and you can do better next time. Ah! Okay, you know what I gotta do? I gotta avoid the edges. I gotta avoid the extremes. The closer I can stay to the middle, the better. Unfortunately, there's that spot with a hole in the middle. You know what? I can go to... I should just go to the right on that part. I don't know why I'm not. Oh. Alright. Non-issue. Platinum. Oh, I also discovered a whole... I, I got a whole new type of collectible in Crash 4 that I didn't get on stream. Ready, There's basically a Crash Bandicoot 1 gem award. They're called Insanely Perfect Relics, and you get them for getting every crate on a level without dying. Oh, is that what this level is? Alright, this is cheesable as shit. We do a little cheese. We do a bit of cheesing. No. The fuck did you think I was gonna do, game? That still wasn't platinum, though. I, I need to do that a little bit faster for platinum. Ghost leg. Ready? Go. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's like those, it's like that Japanese paper tracing game. Where you like draw a bunch of lines. I found the right path. Alright. Yeah, it's just all a joke. Other than the stupid razor blades level. I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna eat my words. I'm gonna run into another stage just like that one. Windows. Well, if this is anything like Windows, this should be very easy to break. It's it's hole in the wall. It's the game show. Oh boy. Okay, so I gotta go left the first time. And I gotta stick to the right the second time. Still been playing uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon Ready, off stream. Go. Doing a lot of the DLC scenarios that I never really put a lot of time in before. Ready, go. Or DLC, the expansion packs. It wasn't called DLC back in those days. That would be something that's fun to... That would be something Daring could do. I guess. No, you need a... You need an executable of the original game, but I guess... I think Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2 are on Steam. Probably very cheap. Hey, Daring, you should look into those if you're curious. has a lot of the same spirit as Crash 1 uh, in terms of Ready, go. 
how do, how do you mean? This is like being a difficult game? Ready? Go. Ready? Go. And also, I mentioned playing it. It has Ready? the it has the overworld, Go. not the warp rooms like Crash Two or Three. I guess that's kind of the the, the Jack. Jack did that as well, in terms of, like, uh, Jack 4 tried to kind of go back to more of the design philosophy and setting of Jack 1, Jack and Daxter 1, as opposed to the guns in future city punk of Jack 2 and 3. Longer levels, difficult. I don't think Crash 1 had that long of levels. I think it was comparable to the other games. To Crash 2 and 3. Ready, go. It was definitely the most challenging of the of the three in terms of platforming. Although at least Crash 4 has the benefit of being a modern game with an infinite live setting. It's gonna be an annoying level, but at least I get to roll fast. At least I don't gotta ch like chug along on a bunch of stupid ups up slopes. You know those up slopes. Man, I hate up slopes. Coaster Tycoon Classic. I assume that is Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 plus the expansion packs. I'll have to look at it later. Roller Coaster Tycoon World is the one that came out more recently and just failed badly. No one liked it. Planet Coaster was just better in every way. Open Roller Coaster Tycoon is a fan project that kind of mashes up the first two games in the engine of the second game and adds stuff like online play. It's very cool, but I think you need an executable of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 in order to play it. Coaster Tycoon 2 is on Steam. Triple Thrill Pack. Roller Coaster Tycoon Collection. Come on, go to the page. Steam, what are you doing? Classic is. It, it's like a re. It's like a remastered mashup of the first two games. So, Roller Coaster Tycoon Deluxe is the original game. Roller Coaster Tycoon Two Triple Pack or whatever is two. And I guess Classic is some kind of more recent mashup of the two? I, it's a remaster. I didn't know that was a thing. 
I would I would just get the original version of one or two, which one is like six dollars. Two, two has the benefit of working with Open Roller Coaster Tycoon. Ready? Go. Maybe I'll look into classic. Maybe I'll, I'll see what the differences are. So we're on world 10 now. This, this is it. This is the final world. This is it, Luigi! Oh boy, where are we going? How, how do we get up there? Just barely made gold. I'm on the moon, you hear Egg- No, Eggman wasn't here, he pissed on the moon. It was a projectile piss from far away, it was from all the way in the- He was orbiting Earth when he pissed on the moon. Ready? I bet if we look down we can see uh, Mario and Goombell Go. run around on the surface. Ready? Man, it's been forever since we did Book of Mario. Little cheese. Ready? Go. Why would you ever go around the first spiral as intended when you can just do this? It's such an e it's not even cheese, it's too easy to be called cheese. You can just drop down, there's nothing to stop you. And the gold time is 38, like they don't expect you to do that? Well, this is gonna be this is gonna be like a 45 minute stream. Ready? We're gonna be done with this in no time. We play awesome knots after this. Oh boy. Sonic Colors Remaster was announced officially. I saw there was a, like, a leak of that that was rumored. I've not played Sonic Colors either. I know it was one of the... That was one of the ones people liked. Unleashed was kind of mixed. People generally liked the non werehog levels. And then Colors was pretty universally liked. Generations was pretty universally liked. And that was it. That was the last good Sonic game we got. The last good 3D one before, you know, Mania came around. And I've played Generations. I thought it was just okay. Ah! Good noise. Sorry. I don't want to. I don't want to say. Okay, we'll do something else after this. Only to get to World Ten Ten and have another one-hour level experience, though. Okay, if it wasn't for that one level, we could have totally finished this all the previous stream. Ready? It would have been nothing.
Ready? Go. Never got to play that one. Uh, which one? I also just remembered that uh, Sonic Team Racing exists. That's a game that people just kind of stopped talking about, if they ever talked about it. I heard there was less, uh, there was like less content than uh, All Stars Racing Transformed, which is cheaper anyway, so you might as well just get that one. Oh boy, here we go. This looks fun. I say ironically. Oh boy. I gotta be faster. Ready? Go. Ready? Okay, Go. So we do a little backside rolling. We gotta get some speed. Ready? Go. Oh, this is hard. This is annoying. Ready? Got to use the momentum. That's what. That's what you got to do. Ready, go. I just. I got to move with them. That's the plan. Ready, Don't think I can one cycle that though. played were Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic Unleashed. Unleashed. Well, that's a one for two track record. You got one of the one of the good ones, kinda, quote unquote. Ready? I only really like the Sonic Adventure one and two, the Sonic Adventure games. Ready? Go. I like them because they had the you know, they had a serious story going on. Hello. Oh, it's the Indiana Jones boulder. Ready, go. Where other, Ready, you know, mascot go. platformers, the story was either non-existent or an afterthought for the most part. Oh, it's this, this, this old trope, this platforming thing. We gotta get Cusco up the mountain and dodging the, the, the guards' barrels. This is not something I expected to see in a marble game. Ready, go. Of course, Sonic Adventure 2 got away with it because it also had decent gameplay. I'm not going to say amazing gameplay, but it had gameplay that was good enough to keep me wanting to play it and see more of what happened in the story. Ready? I wonder how cheesable this is. What can I do with this? Oh, I gotta not fall in the holes, for one thing. Uh, Darian, if this ends... If I finish this within, like, an hour or less, would you be up to play some knots? We just segue into a stream of that. This is just the spiral level again, but up. Oh boy, never mind. I take that back. I gotta do some tricks. I gotta make a jump. How am I gonna do this? Gotta transfer at some point. 
Oh, that's too early to do it now. No. Wait, what am I doing? Do I have to get on top? Do they expect me to do... Oh. I have 52 seconds for the gold timer. I think that's what they might expect me to do. Oh, God. Alright. This is like that, uh, that cheese on the coil level, but actually as part of the level design. It was training for this. I gotta get on top of the tube. Ready? Oh, this is like this is like that awful uh Star Wars Episode 1 racer level. Where you gotta stay on the top track. But it's almost impossible to stay on the top track so you just fall down every time. And then your last place. Ready? Go. This is gonna be the level, isn't it? This is where we're gonna spend an hour. Wait, wait. install my uh, AC yesterday. In the middle of April. Don't usually have to do it this early in the year. But you know, man bear pig. Come on, stay up there, you fuck! I'm looking forward to Austin Knots when I go like 3 9 and all my teammates are calling me slurs. That that sounds less stressful than this. <laughs> you get the sputter. We do a bit of sputtering. Wait, what now? There's more? I hate this. I hate this level. Uh, they want another transfer? Okay, please, is this the end? We gonna make it? This better be gold. Oh god, this better be gold. like it, but it wasn't that bad. 10-7. Relay. This looks cheesable. Oh boy. I take that back. Okay, there's a, li there's a little wee bit of cheese. Hmm. So if I make it quick enough, I can go through the egg hole. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. I think my favorite Eggman scheme Ready, was when he made he created the death egg and then he wrote Sonic's name in it and he died. That was my favorite Sonic plotline. Where are we dropping, boys? No, no, it's still cheese. I still see the cheese. There is very much the cheese. Ready, go. 
I see the route I have to take. It's just getting there in a timely fashion. Ready? I got I, I got to veer to the right after that drop. Ready? Go. Ready? We cheesing the shit out of this. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? We're going to get platinum. I'm gonna show my mom and she's gonna be very proud. Ready, go. She's gonna put my time on the Ready, refrigerator. Go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Uh, Darian, do you have Ready, Crash Nitro Field go. on like uh, PS4 or anything? Wait, what PS4 games do you have? Ready? Because I know that was your only, uh, that was your only console for a while. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. That, that is tough to make. Ready, go. Maybe if I go around to the left, I'll be at a better go. angle. Ready, go. Ready. I wonder what the online uh, online community for Nitro Field is like these days. I was waiting to get it on the PC for the longest time, and then it just didn't happen. Unlike the Insane Trilogy, unlike the Spyro Trilogy, they just didn't release Nitro Field, and then they released Crash 4 on the on the Activision Blizzard service, and not on Steam. So I anticipate they will probably be releasing. They'll probably be releasing uh, Nitro Field on that in the future as well. It'd be dumb of them not to. Unless I guess a PC version doesn't exist. I'm getting there. I'm close. I'm losing speed. Every Doom, every Mega Man, Castlevania. Not the only non-Smash Brothers fighting game. I ever played much of was uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Ready, go. I'm not sure why I got it, or I don't remember how I, I came to get it. I think maybe my friend at the time, uh, Road Rocket, might have been interested and he got it. That was the original, that wasn't Ultimate, so I never got to play Phoenix Wright. I play a lot of in that game. I mained X-23. I liked how smooth she felt to play as she sliced things up. I wouldn't say I mean him, but I liked Wesker in that, in that game as well. He had a good, he has very stylish. Ready, go. At what point do I just bite the bullet and attempt this the normal way? Whatever that even is. Ready, go. Ready, go. This is definitely possible, but boy, it's precise. Ready, go. 
I don't remember. I mean, you had to have three people on a team, so you... Ready? Go! Ready? Go! I'd have to look at the... I'd have to look at the roster again to remember. Ready? I probably go. had Wesker in my trio somewhat often. Ready? Go! Ready? Go! Ready? Go! I'm bouncing too much. You know what? MVC three Ready, characters. Go. Images. Oh, that's more than I rem remember. Virgil. No, that's ultimate. Here's the original one. Uh, I think I played Dormammu a good bit. Ready, go. No, I don't remember. Maybe it was like, uh, maybe it was like X-23, Wesker and Dormammu. Usually I just stuck with X-23 the whole match and hoped I, I finished them, I think. Dante, I think I played Dante. I'm never gonna make it this way, am I? Well, now can I slow down enough to go, like, the normal path from there, is the question. Ready, go! 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 Nothing but that. Ready, go! Ready, go! What an odd inclusion Ready, that Chris go. Redfield was in that game. Like, you, you got a bunch of blatant superhumans, and then you just got a, a dude with a gun. Which had fire and ice powers for some reason. I almost slowed down enough. I think that will be slightly easier than going the other way. Okay, take it back. This is going to be the level that we're going to spend an hour on. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready. You know, this level would have been fine without the holes in the spoons, I think. You could have just had them be full platforms. You didn't need to do this. Resident Evil games is Chris in. I think Jill is like the more well-known Resident Evil protagonist, right? 
She was in MVC 2? As in the second game, not as well. I got the route, and I just gotta do it. Before I go fuzzy-eyed from staring at the spinning globe in the background for too long. Oh! Oh! It was almost good, and then it wasn't. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, I gotta move fast. Well, even doing this the right way, this level is just a massive pain. Oh boy. Almost it. Ready? Go. I'm not looking Ready? forward to if I ever do highlights of this game. I'm just gonna have to watch Ready? through a lot of myself Go. just screaming and grunting at things. That that's half of what this has been. Ready? Go. Oh, Chris is in a lot of games. Ready? Go. I didn't know there were 3DS Resident Evils. I didn't know there were seven or eight. never remember exactly which way it's gonna go. And I don't know why. Ready, the horizontal go. axis always messes with me. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready? If they're gonna rip off Texas Chainsaw Massacre, they should uh, they should do a new Resident Evil where they just rip off Get Out. They're gonna go to investigate a seemingly nice household only to find out that everyone is secretly a zombie, or they keep zombies as slaves and it's really uncomfortable. It. Is this the one? No, it's not, man! No. I'm getting closer. Bit by bit by bit by bit. Sha la 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 la. Ready? 
I'm either grunting at things or I'm silent. This is one of those shut up and focus games. Or at least it is when we get to a level like this. It's so inconsistent, the levels in these last couple worlds. Some of them will kick your ass and some of them are just a breeze. Most of them are just a breeze. And then you just get to the one or two that will kick your ass. Okay, here we go. No! Fallout! Don't fall in the I didn't even get to the final platform. Ready? Go. Maybe I should have just kept going the cheese way. Maybe that would have been faster. Ready? Uh, there's no way to go. No good way to make that jump. Ready? That still might be possible. Ready? Go. <laughs> Man, if I hit just the right Ready? angle, Go. maybe I would have flung myself straight through the ending. Ready? I'm not gonna try that, that sounds crazy. That might be like an ultra speed run Go. world record strat. I have to slow down and adjust my angle too much to make that jump. Or I'd have to bounce on the lip in order to get the right angle. I want to, I want to give it a few more tries, though. I think that physics level, the centrifugal force where you were in the in the spinning tube, I think that was the strangest one in this game so far. Because it was a level that used physics in a game with questionable physics. And then, you know, there's still the possibility that we'll get to the end of, we'll get finished 10-10, and they'll be like, you got all the golds. Welcome to World 11. Ready, go. Whoops. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. This is a very yeet-heavy game. There's much yeeting in it. Skip I'm attempting. Ready, go. Ready, go. I just Ready, I can't bounce in exactly go. the right way. I bounce too much I'd rather. Alright, back to normal go. way. Ready, go. I'm finally gonna finish it the normal way, and it's not gonna be the gold time. Ready, go. This is what's gonna happen. Which begs the question, what the hell is the Platinum time like? Ready? Tried to cut the corner again. Ready? I wonder if this game is on anything but Steam. This is probably something that's on Switch. 
the Switch is supposedly pretty easy to develop for. There's a Doom Eternal mechanic called Yeet Hooking, which you hookshot an enemy and fling yourself into the air for an advantage. Oh, it sounds like speedrunners. As in the game speedrunners, not people who speedrun games. Man, that would be something I'd like to see revisited. Give, it, give us an Awesome Knots 2 or a Speedrunners 2. Town of Salem 2, you don't need to worry about that one. I can do without. I got my fill of Town of Salem. Town of Salem 2 is among us. Ready? Go. Okay, those, those are kind of different games, but... Ready? Go. Ready? They are both about finding imposters among us. Who is the sussest in Salem? Ready? Right into the goal. Ready, go. Ah! Uh, oh! Ready, go. Well, it was almost cool. It wasn't straight into the goal. Ready, go. Ready. You'd have to be Joey Wheeler to get thrown straight into the goal from a jump like that. How about Yugi and Joey enter like items tournament and tournaments in Smash Brothers, and everyone is mad at them because they have the best luck in the world? at the earth and the skybox, they literally made the entire west coast into a desert. Ready, go. Ready, go. Yeah, it's just all the Rockies, right? The Cascades? Ready, it's all just mountains. Go. There's only two American cities. It's Los Angeles and New York. Everything between is just mountains. It's just that all the rest is Arizona and Texas. It's a big state. Big pair of states. Washington was a desert area. I'd be hopping the fuck out of here. Well, it's prairie. A lot of it. Eastern Washington, anyway. It's the Dust Bowl. My parents uh, went to Arizona for spring break. And they were saying 
something along those lines, is that they missed trees too much. They couldn't live down there. Well, that's done. Like 20 minutes later. Vanishing Road. Do I need the Lens of Truth? I do need the Lens of Truth. It's... Okay, this is a new mechanic to be introducing. Are those moving invisible platforms? Really? They are moving invisible platforms. Hello, exotic glimp. Ah, oh boy. I wonder if it's possible to one cycle that or if I am just gonna have to wait. Wait, oh, I reset myself. I had my finger on the Y button. I'm gonna try to one cycle it. Is, is this a particularly bad level, Exotic? Ready, go. Last stream I spent an hour on the Razor Blades level. And in this stream we haven't had any that were too... too atrocious. I spent a little while on Coiled Spring and I spent the longest on that previous level, the uh... like the scoops. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I'm gonna have to get gold on this somehow. 42 seconds? Oh. Wait. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm almost there, but I gotta wait again! <laughs> Ready? Go. Almost. Ready? That's not too bad. Go. We can do this. I wish I could one-cycle that. I guess I don't need to get gold anymore. I kind of want to, just in case there is a Secret World 11, though. Like, I've got- I've gotten all the golds up till this point. I might as well get the last ones. I don't want to settle for just clearing the levels now. I gotta do some membrane for this path, and I gotta get to these platforms in a good time. Alright, let's do this. Yes! Just made it! On a scale of 1 to 10, how hard is this game? Uh, I'm gonna pay if, for this mode? Hmm. 8? 7 or 8? Nah, 8. Coming from someone who generally doesn't find Crash Bandicoot terribly hard. And who completed F-Zero. F-Zero GX is a 10. Ready, go. Come on, get in there. Don't poke my ball. I'm getting jostled. I don't like it. Two men. Oh, that wasn't. That was silver. Not good enough. What's our gold time? I got. I got. I got to be more urgent. Fifteen seconds. Oh boy, how are we doing that? I'm just gonna have to book it. I have to one cycle everything. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. 
what is this? 1010? Our final Naruto character. I mean level. Ex excuse me? The fuck is this? I gotta play video game? I win, I guess. Okay. But but I wanted to play this game, not that game. What was that game? Ready? Go. Chax boy. Okay, so I'm, I I want to go right to start. Now I want someone to make this game of this level in this game in Minecraft. I the, the challenge of this is literally to speedrun a, a smaller video game. Is this randomly generated? That seemed like a different pattern of things. Well, okay. GG. Yep, I was right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and welcome to World Eleven. How bad is this gonna be? Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Didn't we have a level similar to this already? death is in this game. Okay. Ready? Is that, like, the boss of Final Fantasy XI? I know that's a Final Fantasy character. Ready? Or is that a, because it's called Void? Here we go. Mm. Oh, that was only silver? What do I need for gold? Just short of gold. Ready, I might be able to one cycle go. that. Ready, go. Oh, he's obsessed with talking about the void. Ready, I'm sorry, the correct answer was the villain from Sonic Shuffle. Ready, go. That's such a tiny window, but I bet Ready, I can do it. Here we go. We got him, boys. Variable size. We, we do a little shrinking. Is there, there's some shrinkage on this level. Oh boy. They do you nice the way in, and then you get here, and they're not so nice, and you gotta stop now and then. Ready, go. Ready, go. Why, why, why is the void made of paper? It just looks like they, they took some crinkled paper, and they applied a Photoshop filter for the void. I, 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 that was a dumb question to ask. I just realized this game is called Paperball. Of course the void is made of paper. Man. 
I can time my greed just right. I think I would still recommend this game, though. It was very hard. It spent a lot of time getting to this point, but there are other game modes if perhaps they're more your fancy than all these gold medals. And also, it's a pretty cheap game on Steam. Point oh three seconds. Slicers. Oh boy, it's another coiled spring thing. Another coiled cable. Well, forget the slicers. It's enough trying to just stay on top of the thing. Uh, yes, Darien is my robot. He loves to he loves to TAS Castlevania games. Ready, go. I like to, I like to talk to him and ask him about his robot family, and he Ready, responds. He's a very, he's a very good robot. is a joke. Darian is not, in fact, a robot. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, Should have loaded up some. Uh, Should have loaded up some moon base alpha when we were on the moon. Play some space oddity. Man. I watched a little bit of uh, Bloodstained earlier today. It looked nice from a gameplay perspective. I found it funny how the main character, the plot of the game was that the main character was like in a coma for 10 years due to some magically induced sleep or something. And as soon as she wakes up, she's just, she's raring to go. She's ready to raid this castle. Like, let's do this. Let's get these fuckers. And, you know, the last memory she had was being like a bedridden 10-year-old girl. There's probably an explanation later in the game that I didn't see. I just, I found it kind of funny as a premise. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Let's talk about Alucard's childhood being raised by Uncle Death. 
You think they had a good relationship? It's so easy to fall off the tube. The slicers are almost a non-factor. Almost, not quite. I heard it had the, uh, Bloodstain had the composer from Symphony of the Night as well. Ready, go. <sighs> That's not, no, it's not going to be gold. It's not going to be anything. I'm going to fall off again. Man, some of these levels, the, these tubular ones with the rounded surfaces, I just imagine them, but with marble it ups, like uh, variable gravity. Ready, go. This would be a fun level if I could just roll all the way around the tube anywhere I wanted to, and I didn't have to worry about falling off the top of the thing. Ready, that makes it a little tougher. What are some games you enjoy, Exotic Imp? Ready, go. Some of my favorite favorites that we've uh, we've done streams of them by now have been uh, the Mega Man Battle Network series, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Ready, go. Paper Mario games, the first two. Get up, get up, get up, you piece of... Ready? There were a few voices that were apparently pretty notable in Bloodstained. They had uh, David Hayter. Uh, I think Quentin Flynn was in it. A bunch of Metal Gear VAs. Ready, go. Thank, thank you, Restream. You don't need to post that, but thank you. That's a bot. hamster ball I could play at some point not today but that'll be another uh, another game I can do as a mix-up when I'm between crash four streams oh boy oh boy where are we going after this we have a whole nother section after the spiral What would you do if you had to keep falling for a week? Uh, Ready, like without food and water? I mean, what do you mean, what would I do? I would fall for a week. Like if I had to pre prepare? Am I planning to jump into a hole in which I will fall for a week Ready, before landing go. safely? Ready, go. I guess I would bring plenty to drink. Food, water, land. Ready, go. You'll find plenty down there. Ready, go. Can I 
make it? Ah! Oh, I have food and water. I'd, I'd bring a video game, I guess. Have to, I'd have to find something, or a, a, a book, something that could entertain me for a week. You bring anything electronic, then you gotta worry about running out of power. I just wear a backpack full of batteries, I guess. Bring a game gear, go through the whole backpack of batteries in like a day. Ready, go. I've never played a good Game Gear game. I got one when I was when I was collecting physical video games, and I got some Sonic games with it, and I just didn't like any of them. Ready, go. What console? A Switch, I guess. I have a Switch. I have a 3DS, but. I haven't found a ton of games I love on the 3DS, either. I pretty much just played a lot of Pokemon on it. A laptop? Ready, go. If I could get the, Ready, like, backup battery packs, yeah, I'd just bring my laptop. Ready, Have stuff to work on. Have a whole range of games that I could emulate. You would get just a hundred highlight videos all at once after I came back from the week in the hole. I'd just spend the whole time editing. Was the there's a Ready, there's a story about something called the money pit, which yes, it's a saying. It's, it's sinking, you know. It's a money pit. It eats all your money for no gain. But the saying comes from, as I understand it, an actual pit that uh, the people who found it had reason to believe that there was treasure inside. And there was just no way to, uh, there was no way to access it. Every attempt they made to get into the pit ended in failure. It was full of, like, uh, traps that made it so that... Ready, go. People would try everything they could, that was available at the time. I think this was like the, the 30s or something. And it would just get harder and harder because they would keep accidentally setting off these traps in this impossibly deep hole. Oh boy. Okay, well I found my route. Don't take this as face value. This, this is hearsay. It may, may be a completely fictional story. This is something I would need to look up Ready, once again. Go. I think it's also an SCP. The, the bottomless pit. That one being fictional, because, you know, obviously that's impossible, Ready, but... spend a little time on. This is definitely one of the trickier ones. Not as bad as the spoon transfer level, thankfully, but like, we got our route, we just gotta get a good run now. 
this was not that run. Have you ever played The Binding of Isaac? I have. I was not crazy about it. I'm not big on uh, twin stick shooters. I think we did one video on it way back on the Jax channel. The only, uh, the only roguelike I was ever really interested in was uh, Spelunky, which Darian and I were talking about earlier in this stream, because it is a 2D platforming roguelike. In fact, a lot, a lot of, a lot of the games I enjoy tend to be 2D platformer mixed with other genre. Awesome Knots, the 2D platforming MOBA, Smash Brothers, the 2D platforming fighter, etc., etc. I think Jack also got me to play Enter the Gungeon with him once. I don't remember. I think we did a video on that. There might. I think there's a stream of Enter the Gungeon on the channel. And there was one other. Uh, there was one other twin stick shooter roguelike that got a good amount of popularity. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. Ready? Go. Ready? I gotta check out that new Super Meat Boy game. Super Meat Boy Forever. See what's going on with that. Is that out yet? Ready, go. That was a game that was kind of fun, Those original Super Meat Boy. I just came to it, like, really late to the party. Ready, and so I wasn't really motivated go. to finish the whole thing. one of the blades and you just, you dead stop. That's it. You're not getting through. Ready? If only I had a tiki mask to eat one of the blades for me. Imagine a 2D, a 2D platforming battle royale built from the ground up. Not like Mario 35, which is, you know, based off of Mario 1 and then adapted to battle royale, but one made totally with the concept in mind. I wonder how that would play out. I guess the, the Worms battle royale was kind of that. I don't think it was amazing, but it attempted something like that, at least. It was 2D platforming, kind of. As much platforming as Worms ever is. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get there. We're gonna beat the, the Blades level. I was thinking about just playing Awesome Knots off stream, after the stream anyway, so. I'll probably still segue this into Awesome Knots and we'll just do a good, a full meaty stream today. 
Ready? Go. What is this? We are almost at two hours. So with the... With this world... Ready? I guess it will be a two-hour Paperball stream. What is this? This is only 11-3, though. We still got uh, seven after this. Ah! I make it up and then I fall off the stupid cylinder. The, the rope snake firework. Can this? Can I be inside the tube instead? Could we make that the level? Ready, go. I'll go through the sewer pipe. I don't want to be on top of it. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready. Some of these levels are just needlessly cruel compared to other levels in the same world. Ready, go. We've seen a few of them this stream. These have been the ones that we just get stuck on for a little while. Or a long while in the case of the previous stream. Okay, we're up. Now we just gotta do, we gotta make our route and miss immediately. Yes, that's what we gotta do. Don't got a choice though, we gotta be fast, we gotta get that gold. We gotta get all the gold so that we can unlock world the secret secret world twelve. Ultra secret. Boy, imagine Jack were playing this. How would he be doing? We got it, boys. Go. All right. No, it's not platinum. It's not good enough. We got to do that again. Ready, go. Dodge! I got far away from the mic, and that still probably peaked. If you can dodge as a wrench, you can dodge as a ball. Okay, so left, and then right. Maybe. I'll bet I- no, I gotta, I gotta go left twice. Maybe I can bounce over that one. Whoops! Left, left, right. That, that's our path. We found our one cycle. Maybe. Maybe not. Left, left, left. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready. I did it so easily the first time, and now I can't do it again? Ready, go. They're so inconsistent, the physics. Ready, okay, so I gotta go left, left, and then dodge on the right, and then go up on the left. Ready, go. Somehow. It seems like your ball can't get crushed, at the very least. Unless, has that happened? I don't remember if it has or not.
Love and five. Nuts and bolts. Oh boy. It spins. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. No, get up there! God dang it. Now, can I make it to the right in time? I can. That's gonna be a little tight, but that's, I think that's the way to go. Tightened nut. I'm getting around that middle piece. And I have to wait at the start is the annoying bit. I can't just fully gun it. Here we go. go. Hello, Onvar. You missed the suffering. I think we've. I think we're past the full, the worst level. I say that. I'm gambling because we have five left. Hinges. Ready, oh boy, how fast are these gonna move? Ready, go. Whoops! Ready, this seems go. cheese potential. This seems very cheese potential. I know exactly where I gotta be. Down there. Yes, sir. I just, I gotta get it at just the right time. That's what I gotta do. We gon' we gonna cheese it. We gonna cheese it like cheese nips. Hello, Muffin. Uh, Sandy? Ready, go. Ready, go. Come on. We can do it. Get the cheese going. Ah! Ready, go. I, I, have to, I have to fall a little distance first, or it won't do the bounce. Try playing rolled out. I'll look into that one. I played uh, I played marble it up off stream. this game to Super Monkey Ball. This seems pretty close. I think this is very close to Super Monkey Ball. Is this on Steam? Yes, it is. Marble It Up is a bit different because you can jump. This one is... Uh, how do you figure rolled out is closer?
Ah. Okay, I don't think the cheese is going to be very effective. I tried. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Closer aesthetic, almost exactly the same physics. I'll take a look. Where are we going? I almost saved it. Among the marble games I've played and seen, this one has been by far the one that has been that has uh, tried the hardest to be very faithful to the monkey ball like design philosophy. Yeah, I do recommend it. It's a good game. I'll, uh, I'll I'll take a look at at rolled out as well. I think personally, I do prefer Marble It Up. I, I like being able to jump, even if it makes it less like Monkey Ball. But then I was never, uh, I didn't grow up on Monkey Ball. I'm not a super huge fan of it. I like it. I'm not a purist about it, though. Hamster ball stream coming eventually. Ready, go. Uh, Sandy, you want to play some knots after this? Ready, go. Get over. Here we go. No, no. I would gladly do this level three times over before doing the the spoon level or razor blades again. There we go. All right, four left. What do we got? Please, no more roadblocks. We got a roulette wheel. Oh boy, where are we going? We got to go across. I don't quite see the goal yet. Wait, oh! Oh, they go up and down. Okay. Well, let's, let's abuse physics. Or we can just go across. I mean, screw this noise.
there is a vine sauce ball in this game. Not to be confused with these sauce, that's a different thing. Well, I guess that was it. Oh, and then I gotta get on the, like, a narrow path above? Man. I assume, I assume I'm doing the right thing. Yeah, I do. Okay. Just cheese it. Who cares? I ain't got time for, I don't got time for games, for gambling. I prefer that part to this part. The stupid, the precision. I ain't got no precision. I, pl I play Ganondorf. I got Spunk and Hutzpa. That's what I got. Ooh, hello. I'll take it. Would have been cool. Are you playing this with WAZ? No, I'm playing this with an Xbox One controller. Get off. Get eat. Ready? Ready? I blame the vine. I blame the vine shroom for this. Ready? Clearly, the ball I'm using is at fault. It's so hard, it's so much harder than the actual roulette wheel part. Like the roulette wheel part is just gambling. I can just throw myself in and get across half the time. And maybe a little less than half the time. Some of the time. Ready, go. I'm due. I'm totally due. Ready, go. Ready, go. There we go. I say that, and then we're just gonna fail this part immediately. Maybe, maybe, maybe not, maybe not. Oh. That wasn't so bad. I wonder how many people have been driven off by my insufferable noises. Ready, spikes. Go. Why do we got spikes? Ready, go. What is this, Bomberman now? These look, Ready, these look like Nintendo 64 spikes. Ready, go. It's okay, it's endearing. I like Nintendo 64 spikes. SNES spikes. Ready, and no go. one likes Mega Man spikes. Not a single soul. Hello! Where are we going? Ready, go. Give me that cheese. Ready, go. Do it. You hit me again. Come on. Okay, we just gotta get the angle, angle pixel perfect. This won't take long. Ready, go. Almost, that was almost it. Ready, go. Maybe, back, maybe back here, maybe this will be good. Nope. Ready? Going? I can't. I let me look down. Ooh, ooh. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, 
Ready? Go. Ready? Go. God, I wish that it would just let you look Ready? down. This game doesn't Go. like to do that. They don't like you using Ready? the cheese. Stinky cheese. Ready? Go. This is particularly Ready? stinky Go. cheese. Ready? Go. The mini map lets you look down, that's Ready? true. Go. <sighs> it's so close! Ready? Go. Ready? This will be my crowning Go. achievement if I can do this. The minimap does help a lot. I wish I'd thought of it sooner. Mother! <laughs> Nothing but net. Oh boy, here we go. Physics. We got physics! Well, that's not the way to go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Ready? Okay, I gotta find the right way to, for that to go. Oh, I'm on, I'm on top. I don't want to be on top of the mixer. Oh! It's almost good. This is some very specific physics abuse. It's like the previous level was was preparing us for this one. <gasps> Ready, go. Ready, go. I'm on top again. No, no, sir. Last stage, what do we got? Squeeze. Is this, is this, like, I gotta squeeze to, to, to one cycle it? Oh. Oh, it's like, it's like ringing something out. Okay. This is one of those levels that doesn't seem complicated at a glance, but it's probably going to be nightmarish. There's some physics here. Okay. Nightmarish? Nah. Nah, they gave us a freebie. Underhanded pitch final level. And now for the super secret world 12. Nope. That's it. There we go. That That's paper ball. I guess I did it all. Well, all the metal mode, there's a whole bunch of, I, this, this game's devs are very good about having lots of different modes to emulate all the ways one might want to play the game, including the like classic Monkey Ball 1, go through a string of levels modes. Mad Shuffle. I might come back to this for one more stream with Jack, with flip mode where control of the ball changes every few seconds. That that sounds wacky. That sounds like something that would be good for us. But uh, for now, that's it for Paperball single player. Uh, 
you know what? Let's stream some awesome knots. I'm gonna go ahead and just segue into that, so if you're watching live, stick around, and I won't go anywhere. <laughs> 